Okay, folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming in on this cold day here at Beckley's Campus Center to talk to you about the 2018 Imagine. Now, this is a 2600 RB. Now, for more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by and ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. But let's get on to this camper. Okay, folks, so again, this is a 2018. Now, it's a 2600 RB. Now, folks, this is not a 26-foot camper. It's 29 feet, 8 inches. Has a dry weight of about just under 5,900 pounds. You can see you have the molded fiberglass front cap with the LED lights in it. Makes it nice and pretty. You've got the rock guard down below. You're going to have the uh, tongue jack on the front, power tongue jack, two 20-pound LP bottles, and then, of course, the battery will go right behind it. Now, folks, there is, for those of you that like the boondock, you could put a second battery there as well as it's already wired for you to add solar panels. So on this side, what I love about uh, what Imagine does is how big their storage is. And the fact that the door itself, when you put it up, it has a magnet to hold it up. Now look at this, this is 47 cubic feet of storage. And notice how it has nice LED lights on either side. On that opposite side, you're also gonna have a 110 outlet. You can see the framing and so forth. For the LED lights up in the front, you see the switch is right there. And of course, right in this area, this is where you'll have your cable, or if you uh, connect sa satellite, your battery disconnect. They also give you another GFI protected 110 outlet, in case you wanna set a heater in here for extreme weather, just to make it a little bit warmer for you in the bedroom area. Uh, fresh water uh, connection here. Now you can also fill the fresh water tank if you wish by turning this dial to here, or but when you're using it on fresh water, uh, city water, you put it here. Now there will be a fresh tank fill on the outside, and I'll show you that when we get to that. And then of course you have your outside shower here. And as you can see, there's your outside shower hose. So this is the off door side. Let's show you the uh, back side of this one. Okay folks, so this is the back side off door side of the camper. So what you're gonna notice, of course, when you're looking on the back here, you see it does have a ladder. Spare tires is right on the bumper. The bumper can be used for storing uh, the sewer cable, uh, your sewer hose. Now, also you're gonna have a black tank rinse, which is right here. So you're able to rinse out your black tank when you dump it. You've got a nice little light here. That way there, if you're hooking up at night, you're able to see what the heck you're doing. You can see that uh, this is where you're gonna go ahead and discharge. And then of course your handles are right under here as well. And of course you'll see you have a gray tank pull up there in front of the wheel. That is gonna be for the kitchen. So you have two different gray tanks on this particular floor plan. So let's go on the door side. So folks, as you're looking down the door side, of course you're gonna notice your storage door is the same size as the other side. As you come down here, you can see you have a nice long awning here. Outside stereo speakers, you know, nice deeply tinted windows, furnace exhaust here. Wish that was on today to warm my hands up. You have a 110 outlet here. This is where you'd fill your fresh water tank. Now, because your fresh water tank fill is here, then you'd be able to look right below here. And there is your fresh tank drain. Notice also, folks, very important here is that you have a, what we call a center awning support cradle. And that keeps your, the awning tube from um, bending as you're going down the road from all the flexing. Notice the door will go ahead and have a magnet right here. So you don't have to worry about having that um, strut Nice big handle, grab handle to get in. And then folks, sometimes you need to rinse off these steps from dirt and stuff before you put them away. Nice thing is you got a little sprayer port right here and you're able to use that from that sewer hose, I mean that outside shower hose there. So let's go on inside and take a look at what we've got inside. 
So folks, as you come in, this is kind of what you're going to see in here. You know, kind of go through things. First thing you're going to be doing when you come in the door is, of course, putting out your awning, putting your slide in, uh, putting your awning light on and so forth. Turn your water heater on. It has gas and electric water heater, folks. It is the Atwood water heater, which is a little bit more efficient than the Suburban. Nice storage back behind here, as you can see. Motion sensor lighting as you come in. So you can set that to be on all the time, or you can just have it so when you open the door. Um, so you see nice doorway there. Notice how you have a pocket door for the bathroom. You're kind of the same thing as the bedroom. The great thing about that, folks, is it's, it's a wide opening. With the door open, it is not in the way. Now, as you go in the bathroom, see, because the fact you have such great counter space, you're going to have nice storage below it, nice metal, I mean, a nice medicine cabinet above it. And, folks, the other nice thing is, look, at, you have that um, 110 outlet sitting right there on your counter. You can see in the back, you have your towel holder. Lots of, lots of space in front of your uh, toilet there. Heat duct down below there. Good size shower with the skylight. And of course, you did see the window. Nice window that you're able to use. And of course, it does have the vent fan in the bathroom. So folks, this is the bathroom which is a really good size uh, bathroom let's take a look through the rest of the coach so you're going to notice that here is we have the theater seating in this particular one see how the nice lights are on there that is a heated seat as well now you have the center console so you put your um if you want to put your remotes in there you can and that is directly across from the tv which i'll show you in a moment but if you didn't like the theater seating, you do have the option of getting the trifold sofa. Now let me show you what it would look like if you were sitting here. So you're sitting here, and as you can see, you're able to see the TV is directly in front of you. You can see the kitchen area. Good size. Now, you do have a drawer, folks. This is really cool. I mean, they think about, they think about children. They also think about the four-legged children you might have. So you don't have to bring any dog bowls with you. They're right there. Of course, you have the RV uh, style refrigerator, meaning it'll work on both propane and 110. Microwave, cooktop, vented to the outside. Notice how you get the window over the counter, which is really nice. Notice also that the outlets are on top of the counter. And then look at how the size of this sink, folks. Nice, good size. I like the one-piece sinks, personally. I know they're not for everyone, but that way they're, you're able to clean a pan if you have it. Um, and nice high-rise faucet. The other thing I like about how they do this kitchen with that bedroom door is the folks, you see this, the counter extension. When this counter extension is in the up position, you can see how much room you still have to get by. So it is not in the way. Also, I know, folks, you're going to be missing that the fact that we do not have any heat ducts on the floor. Benefit to you there, it's not collecting the popcorn, the dog hair, the dust, the dirt, and all that. They're up off the floor, and they blow across the floor. Now, let's talk about this U-shaped dinette. And I've pulled out what I call the ottoman, but that normally, folks, this piece you can put back in this area to make this a U-shaped dinette. This also does break down for a bed. But by the folks, the nice thing about having this, you pull it out here for kind of like a coffee table in front of your uh, tr um, theater seating. If let's say you're gonna be uh, playing a game or whatever, you're able to push this table back in there against the cushions there. Now you can have people just sitting out here. Now you're not, you know, having other people having to get up to get out. Of course, you can see the nice good size windows you have in the slide out and then let's talk about the bedroom folks nice thing with the bedroom that yes that is a real residential queen bed meaning it's 60 by 80 so now you'll be able to go ahead and bring your linens from home you can have windows on either side place for the tv if you wish nice storage 
on either side of the bed as well as over the bed and then what I also love is the fact that that bed actually gets up out of the way for your storage and you don't have to use your head to um, to hold that bed up now on either side of the bed you're gonna have 110 outlets but on this side so on the left side of the bed or the right depending on which way you're looking at it um, you have two USB ports now you're gonna have AC throughout the, the coach and the nice thing is is that your thermostat is here in the bedroom where you can control it so this is the 2600 RB okay folks well this is Paul Chamberlain the Air Force guy showing you the 2018 2600 RB Imagine for more information on this particular camper or any others be sure if you call if you email or if you stop by and ask for Paul the Air Force guy if there's a particular RV that you'd like me to do a review on by all means shoot me a comment love comments give me a thumbs up if you like it um, also check out my blogs on Sunday evening I have a vlog that I put on and I'm covering m many different topics dealing with RVs if there's something in particular you'd like me to discuss by all means shoot me a comment of course my contact information and everything is below i'll be listing sponsors and everything down there as well so please do uh, take a look at that and i look forward to uh, showing you some more here in the near future thanks again and we'll be coming back at you again soon take care